Good morning from Jonesboro, Arkansas, 4.51 a.m., 8, 18, 22, August 18th, 2022. And I'm going to talk about something today I've been, <clears throat> excuse me, I've been debating. Uh, I've been putting it off because I wasn't sure I want to talk about such personal finances. You know, but I still think it's something interesting and something that could be a warning to other people. But our dog, Dobby, actually my wife's dog more than mine. She's the one that wanted him. <clears throat> Excuse me. 115, I think, pound German Shepherd has epilepsy. At least that's what they think it is. You can never prove epilepsy for sure. But if they have their first seizure attack between three and five years old, it's almost always epilepsy. We could get an MRI. I've looked on the internet, and that's about $2,000 from what the internet says. Not going to do that. Can't do that. We just cannot. And that's what I want to talk about today. How much a sick dog can cost you. And here's my beliefs on the matter. How a friend of mine that wouldn't spend $1 on an animal if he had one that's why i guess he don't have one the thing you know, i look at i look at like this even though i didn't really want the dog because i'm just not a pet person once you take it on that responsibility you take on a certain level of financial responsibility because we are the whole world to dobby if we don't help him nobody will so when his life is over whether it's a month from now or seven or eight years from now I want to be able to look in the mirror and know that we did the right thing. $2,000 MRI just can't happen because you you need to do what's right, in my opinion. You need to take care of a sick animal, but you also cannot destroy your entire financial future while doing it. Just just can't do it. So an MRI is out of the question, and I, I think it, it probably wouldn't show anything anyway. And if it did, if it was like a brain tumor, there's nothing we could do but put him down. But anyway, let's take a look at what it cost. This year, we have spent, look at this, $1,440. If you look here, in the middle, $1,2175 for a vet. One night I thought for sure he going to die, so we took him to the doggy ER, and that was over $400 right there. And didn't do any good, I don't think. I don't think it did a lick of good. He quit having seizures about the time we got him there. Medicine, 179.67, and that's going up because now he's on two kinds of medicine. And I hope this second medicine is helping because he has gone this Friday, I think it'll be seven weeks without having a seizure. And that's also how long he's been on this medicine, which is just remarkable because he would normally go three weeks and he got where he's going two weeks and then maybe 10 days. I'm, I'm not about to cry, holler victory. I've been waiting every day for him to have a seizure. But seven weeks is phenomenal. But that $180 is going to go up. His new medicine, I think, is somewhere around $40 a month by itself. On top of the other medicine, which I think is about $25 a month. But, and $239 on pet food and supplies. Now, this is not exact. Because you look down here like with this split right here where my arrow is. $41 for human food. I guess the Quicken software will not split it up if it's a split. Even though I have up here in the upper right hand corner pets. And this is not pets. It should have taken it out, I think, but I guess they just didn't write the software that way. And I have an old version of Quicken. I think it's like 2013, 2014, 2015. Anyway, here's another one where it's like that. So you can take off 50, 100, you know, but we have still spent probably $1,350 this year. And the year is not even eight months over. And this is why. I will never allow another living creature to live in my house that I'm responsible for. If no other reason, just a financial risk you take on. When you take on a pet, you're taking on a financial risk. If you want to be a responsible pet owner, you take on a financial risk. Again, everybody has to make the decision for themselves. Where do you stop spending the money? Because you cannot destroy your future. You cannot pay 20% interest on a credit card if it comes down to that. There are things I think you just can't do. And I have a relative. He put the value of his dog at $600. And why he had to tell the vet's office that, I don't know. But they told him you may want to have the dog checked for blah, blah, blah. He said, uh, what does that cost? And they said the exam is $800. 
and then the treatment on top of that. We think he may have this problem. He goes, then you'd have to put him down because I put his, the value of his life at six hundred dollars. He said they were not happy with him. <laughs> and I was thinking, why do you have to tell him that? Why can't you just keep that to yourself? But he's a big boy; he can do what he wants. So there are a lot of people I know is going to think I'm a nut for spending this much money. There are a lot of people who think I'm semi cruel for not spending another two thousand. Everybody has to make the decision for themselves where you draw the line at. But I think, I do think you take on a pet, you take on a financial responsibility because he is a creature of God. If you believe in God, then God made him. You got to make sure that you're not cruel to him. You know, but, oh well, not to use a cliche, but it is what it is. <laughs> be warned if you're thinking about getting a pet what are you going to do if you get a sick one no living creature will ever live in this house again not even a goldfish unless God forbid one of my children gets sent to prison or the graveyard God forbid so if my daughter-in-law kills my son One's in prison, one's in the graveyard. We'll take on our grandkids, and we'll raise them right, and we'll take on the responsibility. But other than that, I will not be responsible for any living creature ever again besides me and my wife. That's what I feel. How you feel? You ever dealt with a sick pet? One with epilepsy or some other lifelong problem? Did it cost you a freaking fortune? You have a great day. See ya. Bye.